Welcome back guys, this is Ragnarok here with part 2 of my Rome 2 Grand Campaign. As Rome, I guess I should add that. Uh, so we're off to a little bit of a sluggish start, but uh, we've got some pretty decent sized forces here. We're at War of Carthage and the Etruscan League, so uh, we're just kind of waiting for this army to land. Unfortunately, these guys contracted... A little bit of plague here, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Um, uh, it's only going to last for two turns, uh, is what it says. Or what the uh, the event message said. Uh, two turns, so it shouldn't affect us too much. We're declared. Alright. Double check the diplomacy here quick before get into things too heavy. Enter, friend, and speak. We surely have much to discuss, and perhaps much to agree. No temple can getting stand closer, I think, you. before it was we just, cannot... uh, well just a low friend. chance of success there. Alright, that's fine for now. Uh, we do have a defensive ally down here in uh, Syracuse. How, how long they're gonna, they're gonna last? Oh, it looks like they're Pushing forward to take some territory here. That's interesting. Actually, gonna get our spy on the move and down this way. I think we actually should make a, a small fleet here. Let's see who we've got for candidates. Uh, all right, who who don't I like? Our, our fleets are gonna be very um expendable <laughs> so um putting someone in place who's not going to be necessarily yeah maybe we should get rid of this guy because we do have a uh some treaties with some greek, greek faction of patriots might for anyway that one shouldn't be too bad but expansionists should actually be okay but let's put this guy in charge of the fleet and then maybe we'll get rid of him at some point. Hopefully these two start making babies. That would definitely help things along a little bit. Alright, so... Gnaeus, Cornelius, Scipio, Asina is the guy we're looking for for our fleet. And we'll recruit the fleet here. I guess it's this guy. Doesn't have his full. Oh wait, maybe it's this guy. Bio Asina, that right? Yep. Yeah, I find it difficult to keep track of all these names here. Times. All right, well, have yeah, the upkeep is a little bit more on the triarii but it is more units but oh we'll go with the cheaper option plus i i don't mind if this guy gets killed off especially early on while we're still protected we've got 13 more turns uh for protection uh you sir down here and we'll have you hide as well I really want them to land I was trying to think where we should position you Oops. you there get to work soldiering it's a good life damn it we don't have quite enough for his artillery so we'll wait till next turn, uh, because there. Well, we'll wait maybe a couple turns for his, his artillery. Have you stand over here and and an ambush as well. If they take this settlement, it's not a huge deal. We will lose our fleet though. Um, hmm. right, things are okay here. We don't have. We're not taxing this province though. A little bit of an issue, but I think I'm gonna save this money this turn as much as I'd like to do some building. 
we need to build uh, the aqueduct here uh, for a little bit of public order. And then, actually, I'm going to turn the taxes back on here for now. We can handle it for a little while. But yeah, I want to build the aqueduct in Brundisium here. So we'll need money for that. And then we'll want to get his army to full strength. I'm not going to recruit ships just yet. Even though we probably should. Uh, just because I have a feeling they're going to attack the fleet here. Well, let's pick up some ships anyway. And then I think we'll save this money for this turn. I know I didn't mention it last time, but uh, I, I'll mention it now. Is that the this series... I, I'm going to pre-record a lot of it. I, I really am uh, determined to get back to uh, putting up daily content. So uh, to do that, the easiest way is, is obviously Let's Plays. Let's Plays are just so much easier to um, put together than, uh, than any other content. I, I mean, I do want to start doing some, some other stuff to try and try and get the channel uh, growing a little bit more, but for now, I, I really want to start uh, getting daily content uh, for the channel. So, uh, to do that, I, I want to get a backlog of, uh, of stuff available for you guys. Alright, they just really don't want to land. So I'm thinking we'll, we'll attack them with our forces here. Okay, it's a couple more turns for that. Yes. Is there any pick up some mercenary ships? They are recruiting there, but yeah, we, we can't just keep sitting here and waiting for them to to uh, do whatever it is they're gonna do. And uh, the army that's got the plague—if we lose some of their their ships—I I don't think it's too big of a deal. Bring you up here. I have a feeling they're not going to stand and fight, though. No. Yes. Could auto resolve this. Got the just all spearmen. Uh, I mean, I our, it's not like our army is uh, any more diverse. I mean, aside from the artillery, I guess. But still, um, uh, really shouldn't auto resolve it, but let's fight it. Um. This is a problem with Rome too. Is that like auto resolve is going to give you a better result ninety five percent of the time when the odds are like that. Um, actually, I don't mind if this guy gets killed. Our fleet actually might be able to uh, handle this on their own. Well, well, maybe I don't know. All right, let's go for it, boys. Let's start ramming some, some ships. All right, I don't want to risk any of these guys. Or the one army, the guys that have the plague, I don't mind risking them. Is that army we're going to send back? To, to Rome to recruit their artillery and you guys just stay over here oh fuck stay where you are I guess these guys are all the uh withdraw 
draw. Yeah, let's withdraw. I should be paying attention here to what's going on. Support ships at your command. We your command. Support ships ready. Assault ships reporting. Ships waiting. SEM ready for orders. Support ships at your command. Okay, so far, so good. Support well, ships at your command. General Roma Invicta. Our missiles await your orders. Yeah, see, these transports are just such Our nice targets to ram, even with these uh, very low-grade hey, troops that we've got here. Support ships at your command. At your command. Right, these two, it looks like they've gotten caught. Assault ships ready for order. Are your command? Weapons ready. You guys are moving slow as hell. Yeah, if our fleet can deal with most of it, and then these guys can clean up whatever's left. Come on. Ah, fuck. Alright. Get out of there. I mean, we should win here. I mean, a naval ship against these guys should be able to win, but... We get boarded by another ship, though. They're going to be in trouble. I don't mind losing this general. He's he's not exactly a great political rival. They're rid of a few of their ships. These guys can clean up the rest. That would be great. Let's take a look at what we've got on the map here. I don't want you guys... Okay, you guys are retreating. Um, I want to get you off the field. I just don't want to risk losing... Any of those guys. And then these troops will use them if we we absolutely need them. Unfortunately we didn't get more of them, but it's okay. Transport ships at your command. Probably gonna lose some of our transports here, but not a huge deal. These guys will be able to replace them. Okay, I thought I told you guys to, uh, to get out of here. Well, let's start bringing guys over because we're probably going to need, need your help. We should win here. I'm outnumbered. We should win here. Uh, this one we might not win. Transport ships at your command. Romans ready for duty. Get out them. Pack them down. Transports. You losing decisively, eh? Spearmen seem to be. A lot more effective than our uh, study. So we're winning over here. Transports ready oh, and waiting. Shit. Ready for orders. Romans ready for duty. Transports. Did you come over here and help out? Pretty please. Uh, get over here. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose some of these guys, which is too bad, but uh, we'll be able to replace them pretty easily. As long as we don't take too much damage on our, our main army that we're going to send over. Weapons ready! Attack! 
Maybe we should just let them use their javelins. Looks like we're gonna lose all of this. Behind them, some of these ships over here. Transport ships. Transport. Ready and waiting. Transport. Ready and waiting. Come over here. Jupiter gives us strength. Transport. Ready and waiting. Ships waiting. Transport ships at your command. Transport. Ready for orders. Your orders. Transport. Ready, ready for, for orders. orders. Come over here and help out. Get at them. Yes, see if we can up there. Ready for orders. Ships ready. Proud Romans all. Transports. Commander. Extend them. Jupiter gives us ships waiting. To the oars. Ready for orders. Attack. I think the key is getting them in situations where it's uh Two versus one. Transports. Let's go for that guy there. Ready and awaiting orders. Transport ships. Get over here and help out. Weapons ready. Ships waiting. Transport ships waiting. Transport ships at your command. We await your command. Ships waiting. All right. Starting to turn it around now with these uh, extra reinforcements. Get to sneak through there. Well, we've got some whales over here. Like some very slow moving whales. <laughs> Alright, they're starting to waver. Brave Romans to a man. Transports! Hold Romans! The army losses a boat to kick in. Ready and waiting. Ships at your command. Well, um, yeah, that's why I didn't want to fight it at sea. We should have, I, I should have auto resolved it. We got, would have gotten a much cleaner result, I think, with the auto resolve. But oh well. Had I been a little bit more attentive with the uh, with our initial fleet, might have been able to. Get a few more of them. But I'm not too worried about this uh, this result. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll be able to rebuild that army pretty quickly. Uh, it just sets us back financially a little bit. But this army will be able to push forward without any trouble and finish them off, I think. And getting rid of this uh, political rival right now help things along a little bit. Fuck me, we lost a lot of them. Anyway, they had the plague, so whatever. Probably better off that they... Yes. It is an honor oh, fuck to me. Serve Rome. Oh, fuck me. We all have the plague now. Look at this shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Anyway, you guys... Back to Neapolis. Good God, we all caught the plague from that. We keep moving. Not gonna worry about that fleet. Not really a threat to us. Uh, they are recruiting. But they're only recruiting a couple of units at the moment. Oh, that fleet could be an issue. Gotta land as quickly as possible. We don't want to get caught out in the water. We should be able to land there next turn. I'm uh, just wondering if we should build another fleet. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look here. Oh, from what the populous? I thought I thought this guy was gonna take over. He was the successor. How did this guy end up taking over? Huh? Populous. What does populous do? Uh, 
All right, well, guess what? You're going to be the commander of our next fleet. Maro. Appius Lectorius Maro. Another fleet going. Yep, the cursed fleet. It's sunk twice already. <laughs> um, and let's... Uh, just some junk. Uh, primary purpose is just to give the the army here a little bit, a bit of support while they're they're out in the uh, the water. Ah, uh, this is not really a priority. Um. Hmm. All right, next turn you'll start recruiting. Hopefully the plague will be gone. I don't know how long we're gonna have the plague here. Hopefully it's not long. That could really stifle our invasion attempts. We'll go with that. And then food wise, what do we want to do? Food. I think going with those two in each settlement should give us enough, plenty of food. But actually, let's build this up and then I guess we'll save this for next turn. Let's actually build up Brundisium. This will give us slightly more public order, I believe. Actually, no, it won't. Oh, the uh, garrison colonia gives public order. Interesting. Uh, this will give more Latin cultural influence, though. All right, we'll continue with the civil colonias. Carthaginians. Yeah, we need to get this sorted out here as uh, as quickly as possible with the Etruscans. Yeah, I maybe maybe drag my feet a little bit. Maybe probably should have gotten rid of them a little bit sooner. We'll go with recruited. Uh, fuck me. 454 lost. That is a lot. Fucking, okay, I still have plague. These guys are recovered from the plague. Should only last two turns, I would think. Oh. Ah, oh, man. It's gonna make taking that settlement a lot tougher. Oh, we've gotta land here so we don't get caught by this fleet. We'll make the attack next turn. Eight plus eight and three. Nineteen. Ah, we're in bad shape. That's the only problem. We're going to be in worse shape too next turn. <laughs> At least these guys have gotten rid of their plague. Ready for orders. Uh, you guys can come up and actually help out. Can they withdraw if they're in force march? Oh, we can't quite reach them anyway. Yeah, we'll be able to support with the fleet, so maybe we'll be okay. We'll just pick up a couple. Ooh, pick up a couple extra ships. Don't like having huge navy, though. These guys are pretty cheap, so I, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Especially we're we're gonna be operating a lot down here. And let's just start getting you. 32. If we put you in in camp, you there. Get to work. 29. It's better to keep you in the settlement. To your duties, men. Commander. 
Go with a couple of hostility for now. Need to get that force built back up. This is going to be a bit of a tricky attack up here. Yeah, Carthage, every, they seem to want to invade and then they back off. Um, which is fine. Um, it gives us time to sort of get our get things settled here a little bit. We would be forever in your debt if you ordered your worthy generals to act. Yeah, um, we're not going to do that just yet. Really? Really, really? I have it. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'd really like to get those troops recruited. Again, I should um, auto resolve this. As I mean, if I'm being honest, uh, I, I'm not entirely sure that I can win this uh, just because of, the, of their naval fleets, but. Their naval ships, though. This, this guy should be able to take on their, their naval ships. Uh, the key here, I think, is sinking this force as quickly as possible. And then, and then we'll deal with the fleet afterwards. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, he's gonna have to get into me melee with them. Right, let's sink these, and then we can focus focus on getting rid of this, which is gonna be a little bit trickier just because they're naval vessels. Right, you guys stay off fire it well for now. And we'll want to save our ammunition to use against those uh, those skirmishers and we'll need to get him into melee against the that scorpion that they have over there. Uh, tell me you guys can sink these guys quickly, easily. Alright, good, good. Take that one. Right, coming around this way. Alright, good. All right, you turn around and go for that scorpion. Actually, both of you come this way. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. We didn't, we didn't make impact, but uh, seemed to, seemed to work. All right, put you back on fire at will. Where's the scorpion? Look, is that the? I'm sure it was, okay, there it is there. Perfect. Alright, you, sir, need to, uh, get to combat there. Of our missiles. And, uh, them out. But yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble defeating these guys here. Alright, we're winning there. I'm just concerned that we're getting, uh, they're, they're throwing into our flanks. The important thing is I'd, I'd really like to get these, uh, these ships recruited. Because if we had withdrawn, uh, recruiting like five more ships here, uh, which are going to be invaluable in this attack on the settlement coming up next turn. And I don't mind if our general goes down here. Can you see him? That him in the back there. All right, got them. Stop. Ooh, uh, close victory. It's okay. Yeah, more than likely I'm, I'm going to get this guy <laughs> killed in our uh, attack on the settlement here coming up next turn. Oh, 
I got killed anyway. Perfect. Wow, look at this. They decided to leave the settlement. That's very strange. Um... All right, who are we going to put in charge? Oh, right here's got five authority. Oh, that guy's got terrible authority. I think we'll go with this guy with five authority. And we'll, we'll try and actually keep him alive. For a change. Uh, Politics-wise, these guys are really pissed off, but we're still protected for quite a while. That uh, leader dies in battle, that'll go away. General wins battle, Imperium level 25. Um, and Expansionist should help out as we get, uh, as we start moving on. Uh, moving along, rather. It's Barbarians. Yeah, I'm not super keen on this whole political situation. What do we got here? What is this guy's deal? There's something that we're supposed to... Okay, this. Alright, some fool has been caught defacing the Temple of Jupiter. Such matters should not be taken away. Pay off the temple, hand him over, punish him yourself. Let's hand him over, I guess. Oh, you guys need to start making babies. How old is this guy? 38. Every every turn is uh, is a whole year, so uh, get a move on already. Hmm. <laughs> Just uh, circle there. Yeah, so the plague only did last two turns, so we'll get some replenishment. Uh, you guys actually not necessary for you to participate in this battle. Better we just try and catch this this army here. Ah, uh, we'll fight this. Why not? We get to see our artillery in action for the first time. They should come out at us. Uh, if we attack from here, they should funnel out through there. I think. And that way we can uh, kill them all. As you command. Be careful not to keep them too close together, otherwise get some friendly fire. What are you doing over there? Son of a bitch. Alright, so... We're gonna move up a bit. Keep forgetting that the... That they've modified the AI a little bit. Especially in these defensive siege battles. That... Uh, before, any time, any situation where you had artillery, they would just... Uh, sally out and uh, charge at you but now uh, they take more of a defensive posture 
and just uh, kind of sit and wait for you to do something. And now they're moving a little bit. Alright guys, don't uh, waste your ammo necessarily. Mob coming out. There, yeah, now they're coming at us. Now that we started firing at them. angled that way a little bit and you guys can shoot at them Mob is not going to do much damage to us. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Love me some artillery. Getting rid of uh, skirmishers. It might not be a bad idea to have some, a little bit of uh, cavalry in the armies, but for now, we'll just go with these. Your, uh, use your javelins. Ammunition, real quick, eh? Sons of Mars! Pastati! Get out here and deal with those skirmishers, or those slingers, rather. Yeah, definitely I'm a little rusty with my Rome too, but uh, that's why it's good to fight these uh, sort of uh, non-consequential battles, uh, these sort of battles that are foregone conclusions, just get a little, a little bit more comfortable with the controls, because when we go up against Carthage, it's uh, going to be a little bit different, I expect. Character type dictator. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. Um I'd like to convert that. Ready for orders. Actually convert this as well. Civil settlement settlement. Alright, so 
uses up a lot of our cash for this turn. Starting to run low on funds there. We're going to have to turn the taxes off down here, unfortunately. For now, one more turn. And we can get that aqueduct built. That'll help a little bit with public order. This will help a little bit with our cultural influence, which is a big issue for our public order. That's the main, that's the main problem that we have down here is the, uh, the cultural differences. So we can get that sorted. But we'll start slowly pushing down this way to Karelis. But we'll need to recover a little bit on the way. Additional public plus four public order in the province is not bad. But I think reducing our upkeep cost is probably the priority at the moment. Uh, politics. Uh, looks fine for now. This will get sorted out in time, and our influence is, is, is growing, so that's good. And just try and cut off this fleet, and then that'll get rid of the uh, Trushkin League for us. Enter, friend, and speak. We surely have... No temp... Enter, friend, and speak. We sh... All right, they don't want to be friends. Guys, up for non-aggression for now. Now speak. I. Yeah, I don't want to get we involved in a ton office. of wars here early on. Greetings to you. I. Even though I feel like it's an inevitable that we'll end up in some wars in the north there. I'm just try and see what we can do with Carthage first if we can sort out some of this you know, it'd be good to have this fleet here just to be able to patrol the waters and just uh, pick off random random armies and fleets as they make their way across <laughs> Another family seeks to adopt one of your characters. What character? We don't have any characters. Um. I'm gonna allow the adoption. Because I. I mean. Offer of adoption. Um. I guess that was the. Uh, was the other noble there. That's not a huge deal. Guess maybe we should have tried to. Oh, he's the he's in charge of this army. Ah, uh, I guess I should have stopped the adoption. I was thinking that we didn't. Hi, uh, yeah. Damn it! I should have stopped the adoption there. What was I thinking? All right, let's uh, actually hire hire another politician. What have we got here? Go with this guy. Actually, gonna replace you now. Okay, maybe not. I thought that uh, by hiring that guy, that we would have become part of our political party, but I guess 
I guess not. Oh, there he is. There. Uh, maybe we can adopt him. Nope, oh, doesn't look like it. All right, well, fuck. That's a pain in the ass. I should have stopped the adoption. I, I don't know what I was thinking there. I got a lot of, a lot of minor mistakes. But anyway, I mean, so one thing about um, these games is just you know you gotta learn from your mistakes. And if, if there's one thing you guys can take from my campaigns is that even though it's legendary difficulty and even though I make a lot of mistakes, you can still manage it. You can still you can still fight through um, those mistakes. So, all right, let's start with this and then I'll decide what we'll do after that. All right, so we want one more and then we want some artillery. Wondering if we should uh, start hiring the artillery right away. Ooh, that's an admiral. That could be a bit of a problem. Alright, this one I will auto resolve. Because we've had some, some fleet battles. That's not going to be a difficult battle either. Now, their, their fleet here, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's bring you into dry dock. Additional morale for all units should be helpful. A strategist. Alright. I'd really like to get some replenishment this turn. I'm just going to keep him in the settlement there, and then we'll, we'll probably force march our way through there. Wouldn't mind actually having some intel to see if there's an army there. He's a little ways off. Syracuse is here. Here just... consolidated this. Alright, we're going to build our... Uh... That'll help with public order a little bit. Public order is great here. Coming along a little bit. We're not taxing the province. We need to get those cultural differences down. Definitely need to get our income up. Getting those artillery. Ready for orders. Your orders. Fleet reported. That could be an issue. Ready for battle. Anyway, we'll just avoid them for now. Important part. Um, important thing is to consolidate this province. And then move on Carthage itself. We would be forever in your debt if you. How many wars is Syracuse involved in? <laughs> oh, it's totally ridiculous. Ready for battle. Advance. 
Okay, we're not at full strength, but... Alright, we don't actually have to force march. We should be, be able to, to reach it next turn. What is it? Yeah, we should be able to reach it. We should be okay. We're not getting replenishment, but we're almost almost at full strength. Right, you can land over here, actually. For you. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about here is if we... If we send this army down to support in Carthage as well, then we're leaving ourselves open to... Potential barbarian invasion. And income wise, we don't really have a ton of income to uh, to support that at the moment. Yeah, man, I really wish I wouldn't have let them adopt this guy. Oh, son of a bitch. It does, uh, does actually say what house the, uh, the politicians are from. Alright, I'm gonna actually hire this guy. So the, the more um, nobles that we have in these families, um, the easier it will be to, to keep all of this under control later on. At the same time, we, we need to get some generals for our own factions. Let me get rid of these guys. I think it's fine to auto resolve that. Uh, the problem here, though, is I don't think we're gonna have enough movement to get back to the settlement. Is there nothing else? And I mean, it's important to get rid of the Etruscan League. Your orders? But with this, ah, uh, actually, we do have enough movement to get back. So having these guys in force march, they're not gonna be able to defend as well. The garrison, ah, uh, the garrison is slowly recovering. Additional shots for support. Yeah, get down there. I'll take that. So get that province secured. Actually, um, hmm. I'm gonna move you to here. That might tempt them to come over and take Neapolis. If that's the case, we'll be able to uh, get rid of them afterwards. Let's just wait till next turn and we'll recruit those next turn. Uh, it doesn't make sense to pay the upkeep if we've got to wait one more turn to uh, finish recruiting them. I probably should have waited on these two. We'll get him to full strength. If they do take Neapolis, we'll be able to retake it right away. But in the meantime, I 
think we should do yeah, let's get this civil settlement up built up gonna tax the province here need the income so we do have this army here, so we could potentially deal with a rebellion. We'd let it revolt, deal with the rebellion, and then move on. I think it might not be a bad idea to recruit a couple more ships. Be able to deal with these guys. Don't like having that big fleet out there in our... Uh, in friendly waters. Yeah, we're expanding a little bit slower than I'd like. We're not in any any real How can I be of assistance? Any real danger at the moment. Okay, that'll help out quite a bit actually. Okay. That wood cleared. Okay. Alright, we've got our income up a little bit. Take that. What are we doing for time? The garrison mic here. We need good strong men. Three more of those. I want to go with the fountains there. Alright, let's... Mice on the road again. Is there nothing else? At your service. Keep an eye on what's going on down here. I don't think we'll have real... really any difficulty with this, provided that we can link our two armies together and uh, attack them with a combined force. Really want to get them full strength, but in spending the money, now we might have enough money for, how many we need? Four? We need 2,240. After we take this settlement, we might have enough. Um, I, I honestly, I want to do this uh, manually, even though it's an even pretty easy battle. So uh, we don't really have. If we're gonna keep things to an hour long, we're not gonna really have time to do it right now. So I think we'll fight this battle at the beginning of the next part. And then, yeah, just start things off there. So sorry to end things like uh, at this point here. But, um, yeah, uh, we'll get that done. And then figure out what we're going to do next. Hopefully that will give us enough income to pick up those ballistas. And then we can, we can start moving that army down this way. And use our ally here as a staging grounds. You uh, come over here to Carthage, and I think we're going to start working on taking them out. So, so far, I, I mean, I know the war is just in its beginning with Carthage. This is going to be our first battle with them, but... Um, oh, these guys are out here raiding, eh? Yeah. Uh, we, we should be able to get rid of that fleet, so long as we can get enough fleets into the uh, recruited. But so far, I think the... the War with Carthage is going well, even though it hasn't started. But it looks like we've got an advantage on them that we're going to be able to get the jump on them. I'm not sure why they declared war on us if they weren't ready to attack us. But that's totally up to them. Whatever. Anyway, we'll have a good good old-fashioned siege to start things off. Should be nice and easy. But uh, should give us also give me a little bit of practice with the sieging here in Rome too. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for the uh, support for the channel. I will see you in part three. Have a great day. Ragnarok out.